Hello! This video will show you how to use documents you find using Delta Library's OneSearch interface. When you have refined your results list to your satisfaction, scroll through the results. There is lots of information available for each item right on this screen, including the title, the author, the source, the date, how many pages it is, and the source type. Keep scrolling until you find an article you're interested in. Here's one that I'm interested in, Seeking Shelter from the Storm. Now this is from USA Today and that's exactly the kind of article I'm looking for today. Now I could go directly to the article and click on these uh, full text links below the entry, but I want to get more information first. So I'm going to click on the title. This opens the abstract page. And on this page, you can find citation information like the title and the author and the source. And then there are some clickable subject links that will take you to related searches on your topic. But most important, I want to show you the abstract. Now the abstract's a summary of the article. So you could read the abstract and make the decision as to whether you want to read the whole article or not. This can be a real time saver. Now, if I've decided that I want to read the whole article, I need to find the full text link. So I have to look around my interface, and there I see it on the left, PDF full text. So I'm going to click this link to open the PDF full text. And this opens the PDF full text right in my browser, and I can read the article. Now, if after reading the article, I decide there's a chance I might use this in my paper or project, I need to save a copy. So I have to find the tools for doing that. Now, in this interface, in the upper right-hand corner, there are PDF tools for downloading the article, printing the article. And over on the right, there's a tool for sending it to my Google Drive, uh, emailing it to myself, and a site tool. I'm going to click Site and a list of citations formatted in all different types of formats appears. Now here's APA. So if I wanted APA, I could simply copy and paste this and put this in my document. Let's say I want to email it to myself. I go over to the right, I click the email icon, and it opens a different interface. Now in this one, it's important that um, the full text, sending a full text option is checked. Um, and the citation option is checked, and I need to make sure I have it set to the right citation format. So here's MLA, uh, APA is also available. Then over on the left, I enter my email address and make sure to put a subject in the subject line so it doesn't get kicked out of your email. Finally, I can click send. Now, when I'm done with all of this, I can go to the upper left-hand corner and click the results list link to go back to my list and find another source.